So I want to share some thoughts today around how we respond when someone famous dies. First, a couple of disclaimers. One, if you know me at all, you know that I no longer follow social media. So I have no evidence to support what I'm about to say about my assumptions about what's probably been going on on social media lately. However, based on my consumption of social media in the past, I'm pretty sure that nothing's changed. Second, this is just my opinion and take it with a grain of salt. If you feel differently, then that's fine. I just wanted to share what I'm thinking right now as someone famous died and the way that we react. When anyone dies, this can happen. My own personal experience, this happened. Someone dies and people rush to social media to be the first person to post about it. Why? If this is something that you do, can you just take a minute and think about why? Why would you have felt the need as soon as you heard the news that Kobe Bryant died, that you had to immediately put it on social media? I know a lot of people will say it's because they're just, you know, wanting to support his family, um, wanting to just express their uh, sympathies. However, when this kind of thing happens all the time, it doesn't feel sincere. It feels like people are just wanting to be the first to say something. Almost like it's your way of getting a little bit of the attention that's of somebody else's tragedy. For me personally, people posted stuff on social media about my daughter without asking me, links to news articles and all kinds of things, as well as even going so far as to, to share the results of the coroner's report before we had even been notified. So I take it a little bit personally when I see that as soon as something tragic happens, people are so quick to plaster it all over the news. I feel like extra concern for their family Yes, right now it's big in the media and they're getting a lot of sympathy. I'm sure they're getting emails and cards and who knows what of, of people telling them how much he meant to them. But it won't be long before that just completely goes away. And they will feel completely alone. Because right now, yes, those words of comfort and sympathy, they are making his family feel like they're not alone and feel recognized in this tragedy. But, as societies want to do, it will not be long before people go back to their life and they don't talk about it anymore. The other thing is, there were other people that died that day. There were other people in that crash that died that day. And, like I said, I don't comb the social media to find this out, so correct me if I'm wrong if you just feel the need, but where was the outpouring of support for those people? I was also told that that same day there was another tragedy and we lost a lot of people in the military. Again, I didn't comb through social media to see how much was covered, but from what little bit that I have seen, there was no coverage on those people because a celebrity had died. What's my point? It is absolutely tragic when anyone dies. Especially when it's sudden and an accident and unexpected and it just shakes us to our core. I guess I just hope that as a society, as individuals, we can take a step back and address tragedy and address grief and react differently and pause and think about what we say and what we do and how that actually impacts the people who are grieving and how it impacts the way society treats grief and the way society treats death. I would love to know what you think. I would love to know how you have felt, especially, you know, when you first heard the news of that helicopter crash 
or when you first saw it, you know, where you saw it on social media, or were you one of the first to share it and why, and how it makes you feel as you cope with your own grief. What did it bring up for you? So leave me a comment if you want to talk about it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for letting me ramble. Thanks for sharing your thoughts. Thanks for sticking around. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, y'all.